Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Kenny Buster again. Today we're going to be looking at one of the more unique uh, products, sealed collection items in my, well, collection. Which, by the way, I don't really keep that many sealed products at all. And eventually all just gets open because I have no self-control. But this one in particular is an outlier. Why, you may ask? Well, <laughs> let's go over it. Alright, clearly you can see this is the Dawn Wings Necrozma Premium Collection. It's a collection that came out like five years ago or so. Four or five years ago, it came out in like halfway point of the uh, Sun and Moon era. Normally, you have the Necrozma Dusk Main, which is one of the new Necrozma cards, uh, one of the new forms. And then we have the Dawn Wings Necrozma Jumbo. Cool, it's the namesake of the box. Very fitting. We have the figure, of course, for the box on brand with what we're supposed to get. And then there's this, there's a Latias. What? 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 As far as I know, there's no tie-in with Latias and <laughs> Necrozma. You know, I'm not, the, I'm, not, I'm not a Pokemon expert by any means, but that doesn't belong there. Uh, there's actually a promo from a different product altogether. I don't know what, I forgot what the product is, but I know it doesn't belong in here. So yes, we have an error box in our hands. And how much of an error is this box? Well, from what I see, the outside the little window here, there's apparently extra packs, or at least packs that don't belong. Because you're supposed to get two Forbidden Lights, an Ancient Origins, a Breakthrough, or a Breakpoint pack, and some other pack there. But there's Roaring Skies, as you can see, there's the head of the lovely Deoxys staring into your soul. And there's some other goodies in the background. Oh yeah, of course, there's the uh, there's a barcode one back here. I, th I think that's a different... Uh, I think that's Roaring Skies as well. Or another XY pack. Uh, oh, also there's a Crimson Invasion, which everyone is dying for me to open. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely one of the more uh, interesting products I've um, managed to come across and eventually open on my channel. Which comes down to how much this box is worth for those who are interested in market value and all that jazz. I want to say a box like this can fetch for a couple hundred bucks just based off how much of an error there is. Uh, a box like this, normally, like, the aftermarket price is like 80 bucks. Normally, MSRP was 30. This one goes for about 80-ish, maybe close to 100 if you go on eBay, TCG Player, even Amazon. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a, an interesting one, to say the least. So, to maintain integrity of this entire opening, I will not do any editing of any kind as I open up the box and show off the contents. So just to show off that there's nothing crazy, no shenanigans going on. I'm pretty sure this is sealed. Nothing too crazy going on here. The box is in pretty good condition, not too beat up. But uh, yeah, let's dive in. No edits, we're going in raw. What am I opening? Either the glue is very fragile. Okay, well, the glue must have dried out or something because it is very fragile. There is, I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's been a very long time, but this is one of those uh, rip away things, which I don't think I'm going to end up ripping. Okay, interesting. Okay. Mind you, I've had this box for like four years at this point. Let's see what we have. Okay. Interesting. What's that in the corner over here? What the heck is this? What is that? What is that? Oh, I know that. That's okay. That's probably a stand for the uh, for the uh, figurine. Okay. And then there's of course the pin, the crossbow pin. Okay. So let's lift off the top. Let's take out the promos. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold the phone, hold up, hand still in frame, hold on, there's two cards, okay, wait, where'd the other card go, where's the, okay, hold on, Jesus Christ, this is, alright, alright, shit's hitting the fan real fast, okay, I'm pretty sure I got that on camera, but, there was a psychic type, and then there's a necrozma dusk main, okay, we have the necrozma dusk main, cool, nice promo, Interesting. And then back here we had put down a different Necrozma card. 
It's the Dawn Wings and the Crossbow. Is this the one from the promo? 124, 126. What the hell? I don't think this is the one that, and it's beat up. It's, what the hell? Dude, this thing is chewed up. A Chihuahua came by. A Chihuahua must have put, a, must have put this collection together. Interesting. Okay, I mean, that has happened before with Pokemon that the, uh, there's sometimes been like extra promo cards that have been back to back on these little inserts. Definitely not different ones like that. I'm pretty sure this Necrozma's from a different collection. Alright. A lot of yes, cool. There's another <laughs> Hold up, bro. Is this the same thing? Hold up. Alright, so hold on. Let me get a good look at that. So 123, that's okay. This has to be the Necrozma that is supposed to come with this box. And then this is Ladias just chilling. Hitching a ride, 135. That's funny, so that means this is from a collection that's supposed to come out later on. Now this has happened before. Uh, most recently I can you know, recall uh, everyone's favorite Pokemon connoisseur and extremist, Leanheart. He actually had a Pokemon uh, collection box that had Pokemon Go promo in it. And from what I recall, it was like really beat up. Uh, that's literally the only instance that comes to mind of something like this happening but that's about it like that's the only thing that was wrong with the box that had a different promo but then now we're looking at the packs themselves there's the forbidden light there's the roaring skies okay there's a steam siege okay a breakthrough a whole bunch of xy stuff the ancient origins as promised of course there's a code card that's there, of course. Roaring Skies, again. Another Forbidden Light, and then the Crimson Invasion Sun Moon. Which I think this, there could be a chance that it's a different pack. It's a different Sun and Moon era pack. But yeah, we got eight packs total. That's some, some, some nostalgic stuff. How about we uh, crack into them? But before we do that, let's give away, uh, hopefully it's the code card for the box. Let's see, Dawn Wings Necrozma. Okay, yeah, it's half the code card. I don't know if that's even like valid at this point. So let's go through the packs and then we'll check out the other goodies. All right, Crimson Invasion, you're up. You're probably, I think, the worst set here, honestly. So if we're gonna get anything cool, I hope to God it's not from this pack or this set. Uh, here's the code card. Enjoy it or not. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Um. What's it mean? Cool. That's so good. We got Counter Energy. We got a Swine Up. We got a Numble. Very smug Numble. We got a Minchino. We got an Execute. A nice uh, Psychic Omelette on the way. Jigglypuff. And the reverse is a Cacturn saying, What's up? Oh, he's imitating the other uh, cactuses, cacti behind it. And then behind that, we have, Hey, oh, oh nice. A Hollow. Or right, Xerneas. Good way to start it off. Let's check out Steam Seas. Steam Seas uh, starting to grow on me a little bit. Not a, not a, I wasn't a huge fan at first. But there's some pretty damn neat cards in here. Some nice Megas. Good card. That's, wow, this pack feels very weird. Okay, interesting. We have an Armor Fossil Shield on. We have a Flaffy skipping about. We got a Monferno. We got a Krogunk. We got a little fat bully Krogunk. We got a Tangela. Clank. We got a Joltik. A little small guy. We got a Pawn here. We have a Larvesta. That's a cool looking reverse. That goes very well. This is a very nicely put together reverse. Enough about this card. What is behind it? We have oh another hollow. Cool, nice. A chandelier. Wow, that looks that looks so cool. I don't know why this. Interesting. That's a very cool, dope looking <laughs> artwork of chandelier. Sweet. All right, let's crack open one of the roaring skies. Probably my favorite set of this. Wow, this is a very good pack. And I don't think the packs are resealed either. I don't know, man. What the hell was going on in the factory floor when this was going on? Jeez. Oh, Christ. Okay, well, we might get something good out of this. All right. Let's get that Rayquaza, baby. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? We have Trainer's Mail. Mail time somewhere. We have Rayquaza Spirit Link. Hey. Hopefully. 
Tranquil, Cascoon, Hoja. We have a Dratini, a Dragon type. We have an Inkay, nice. Doing a little something something with a Meowth's Berry. We have a Natsu, a Reverse Togekiss. Wow, these cards for some reason in this lighting look fantabulous. And then behind that we have, okay, well, shit. Let's crack open one of the Forbidden Lights, the Greninja artwork. I, don't, I haven't opened up too many Forbidden Light packs at all. Oh, that feels, oh, that feels crisp. What do we have? Good, good. And something nice. What are the, what are the chase in this set? Um, probably some of the Krosmas, the uh, trainer card with that lady in white. We have an Ooxie, just saying what's up. We have a unit energy, that looks pretty cool. We have an Amara, we have a Goomy. We have an Execute by Yuka, love it. We got a Gibble, just doing something there. We got a Noibat, we got a Han Edge. Stay away from the water, you're gonna dull your... Edge. We have a Alolan Marowak, keeping intruders at bay. And then behind that we have, oh, Sylveon. That should have been a hollow. I'll take it anyway. No one pack of XY breakthrough, and I'm really hoping we pull some heat because, <sighs> wow, this pack is awful, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm really hoping we pull some like heat or some bangers because this, <sighs> these packs, do these, these code cards mean anything? Oh, yeah, really hoping we pull some heat because, uh, yeah, this box goes for, an error box like this goes for a couple hundred bucks. We're talking about 500 maybe, maybe that's pushing it, maybe going a little too far. The box itself is an $80, box, $80 to $100 box on the secondary market. We've got a parallel city, what the hell's going on here? Cool. We have a Fracture, we have a Mewtwo Spirit Link, we have a Doduo, do a Naruto Run, love it, we got a Ghastly, we got a Wubat, we have a Swablu, that's cool, we got Swablu, we got a Snover, just chilling, camouflaging in the uh, the forest, we have a Snorlax, having a bout with uh, the chest pin, right, and then behind that we have, God, help me. One pack of Ancient Origins, give me anything, anything better than a Hollow, literally, anything, please. I have some redeeming qualities to this freaking opening. For the love of God. Code card. And if you're enjoying if you're enjoying what you're watching, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Oh boy. Lissandra. Uh this is a full art of that coming out soon. We have a sable line, we have a level ball, we have an ink. We have a ball toy just going crazy. We got a Persian. We got a Golur doing a little salute. Love it. We got a relicanth. And behind that we have a level ball reverse that's worth uh Nice dirty quarter, and then behind that we have <sighs> two packs left, please. I'll save the Roaring Skies for last, because if I want something cool, it'll probably be from that pack. Come on, man. Please. Uh, code card. All right, what do we got here? We have an Enna Porter. Okay, cool, we got a Dooblade, nice. We got a Halucha once again, we got a Snover. A Bunnelby, we got a Cubone, that's, ugh, my heart. We got a Magnemite, we have a Binnacle by, I believe, Yuka, and then we have Diggersby. What a, what a lovely eyesore of a Pokemon. And then behind that, we have, come on, where, <laughs> where's the heat? Before we go into the last pack, let's check out the figure itself. It's actually a pretty cool, nicely detailed figure with its little stand that I definitely didn't take 20 minutes putting together, but uh, yeah, very highly detailed. Yeah, you can't complain. It looks nice on anybody's uh, Weeb-esque desk. Uh, we also have the uh, coin, not coin, the pin, which also looks pretty freaking dope. Very nicely detailed. Hey man, the pins, as far as Pokemon goes, they've been uh, all cylinders throughout the years. Gotta appreciate that. And then here is the uh, promo card jumbo, I, I guess, I don't know. This card definitely isn't in here, that's for sure. It is, I, I, I believe it's from Forbidden Light itself, which is pretty cool. It'd be nice to get that card in a pack. And then the, there's this thing. I don't know. Go crazy with it, I guess. I don't know. And then, uh, let's see what we can get for the last pack. Christ, okay, come on, please. We started off hot. Oh my God, again. Does this mean anything at all? Started off hot. With some hollows, some nice subtle combustion, and then we've uh, petered out. Please, Wally, show us something. Togetic. 
Cool. We got an Ultra Ball. That's worth something. We got an Electrike. We have a Talo. And Execute. We have another Halucha. How many of these are we going to get in the set? Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a Pikachu. That's a pretty... I actually really think this is a Pikachu. We have a Dragonite. Reverse. That's probably the best card I've pulled so far. That looks so dope. Wow. The Dragon Typing Reverse Foil looks awesome. Wow. Been a while since I've seen one of these. Nice. Consider Dragon is my favorite Pokemon and all. And behind that, we have... Whoa, Nelly. And here's the other half of the code card. I definitely didn't forget it. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and a lot more than you think. And be on the lookout for a post in the community tab concerning the giveaway winner for the Arceus Premium Box Collection. And uh, final thoughts on what I just cracked open. Boy, am I impressed and depressed. I didn't think Pokemon could um, screw up that badly, but hey, they did. Uh, the packs, on the other hand, I think I got like two hollows out of eight total packs. What's up with this bad batch? Come on. Pokemon, please, if you're going to screw up this badly, at least, you know, sprinkle some more goodies on me. Come on. But uh, yeah, it was very nice opening up some really old well, relatively old packs, like Ancient Origins is like 2015 if I'm not mistaken. Some of these uh, Sun and Moon packs are like 2017. So it was nice uh, going back in time for a couple of years. Uh, yeah, um, until then, I'm Ken. I'll see you all again. Take it easy. Peace.